Okay, <clears throat> hello and good morning. I just dyed my hair, so yeah. I had to go back black. I think this side's like darker than that side. I don't know. Cause like I put it in and I laid down on this side for a little minute and then woke up and washed it out. Then I put a little on my eyeballs too. I've been doing that for a while just to keep my eyeballs dark. Little tip for y'all. Okay, so this is a Leo reading. Good morning. Uh, Revelations deck. Let me get a few cards for Leo, please. Just to explain Leo's current situation. What they may be facing. And Emperor's on the bottom. And Five of Pentacles on top. The Empress in the middle. What they may be facing. Ace of Swords. I guess I'll leave that out. What they may be facing and what's going on. Tempers. Ah, you was an asshole. That should be enough. Let's see. Do you have any more cards Do you feel that you feel like will fit with this the Empress again? Okay. So, yeah, it came out twice. I'm going to keep it now. Well, it didn't come out the first time. It was just in the middle. But that's why... I that's why I kind of pull some of these cards that my like that my hand kind of guides me towards or that my eyes might look at and be like, I think that's one. Because I'm like, usually they come out the deck anyways if I keep shuffling, but I prefer it to come out the deck at the time that it falls out instead of when I see it. Okay, so six of wands is first. And as you can see, I didn't use gloves because my fingernails are black. Mm. He rides into a crowd that celebrates his victory. Similar to the chariot, this car exemplifies the feeling of success and victory that has been won or achieved through strife. Effort has been exerted to reach this stage. And your peers now rejoice <laughs> and celebrate your triumph. It is a time for reflection and festivity as you are ready to reap the rewards. Reflection and festivity as you are ready to... Oh, I'm so slow, y'all. <laughs> In situations, this card heralds possibilities for promotion, good news, and triumphs over adversity. In relationships, the sailing will be smooth as both parties have overcome their issues and have found the time to focus on their love and achievements. Oh, how sweet. And Ace of Swords. That's what this card looks like. Then Ace of Swords. Powerful forces have come into your life that will bring swift change. Mental prowess and intellect will grace your mind. New ideas, new ways of thinking, and clear logical thought will be a way of life for you. The sword will sweep through your mind and clear out any doubts, dissipate clouds of confusion, and help you aim for your goals with a diamond-like clarity. When this card appears, it is it also offers a sign of protection from fear, which can haunt the mind. Be not afraid and stand firm and tall. Logic will prevail over emotions. In matters of legality, work, and contracts, this card often shines a positive and fair light on any outcome. Relationships will be intellectually stimulating as you engage in games of the mind and tease and test each other's limits. Okay. So, yeah, I go through this a lot. I feel like, well, I know I do. Um, when, what Chris Brown say? Do anything you want, but let emotions control your mind. Okay, so, but yeah, like, so I uh, go through that a lot where I'll be thinking about something, situation. You know, girls, we all soft and shit. You might like somebody or even guys, you know, y'all be soft sometimes too. Y'all might like a girl or, you know, for women, you might like a guy and then it's like, Oh, well, they just make me feel like this and all giddy and da 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 And it's like, well, no, because, like, I don't want to feel all, you know, giddy and like that all day. Like, I want to be able to live in that fantasy 444 and in my, like, in reality. Like, I want to be able to be happy and smiling, but also know the reality of the situation and the reality of the person that I'm dealing with and the reality of life and everything in general. You know, I just... Yeah, 
uh, ignorance is bliss. There we go. So when you happy like that, I feel like, you know, 505 is usually because you live in the ignorance. So ignorance is definitely bliss and happiness. But yeah, when uh that ignorance get a little knowledge on it, you're not going to be happy no more. So, you know, you might as well accept, not accept, but you might as well go with what you know is showing you everything up front. Like, this is the type of person I am. This is what I got going on. This is what I do. This is who I am. You know, do you want in or what? Compared to, I feel like somebody trying to trick you into a lifestyle or not even trick you but you get what i'm saying like they'll tell you one thing like i've had a relationship like that as well 555 they'll say one thing like oh it's i want you don't cheat on me and don't do this like and that's the first thing that come out your mouth like don't cheat on me don't do this and, da, da, da. and then this motherfucker 606 607 608 609 the first thing this motherfucker do is go cheat on me like so bitch you should have been telling yourself that and it's like wow the you know, you was portraying yourself to be something that you weren't. And then you showed me 619 exactly who you were. Like, yeah. And it's like, I'm tired of that shit. Like, I'm tired of 626, 627, 628, 629. I'm tired of waiting to, like, I'll get in, locked in, real good with a dude. You feel me? And then 636, 7, 8, and 9. And then I find out that he be on that fuck shit. He be on that fuck shit, too. You feel me? You find out after that. And it's like, no, I want to know, like, what I'm getting myself into when I get myself into it so I can make the choice. And that's the thing. People try to take away your choices. So, like, don't let nobody take away your choices. No. Like, I want to have the choice to say, okay, I want to play the fool. Or, no, like, I want to play the game. 707, 708, 709. So, the choice is yours. But, yeah, give me a choice. Don't leave out information or mislead me so I don't have a choice. 7, 17, 18, 19. Effortlessly, the angel brings a balance between air, water, and fire. Creation finds birth in its vessel. Once again, the theme of balance, similar to justice, comes into play in one's life. Here, the balance achieved extends into the resolution of issues outside of just legal matters, such as life and love. This card heralds the ability within oneself to bring together differing elements to work in unison. Calm and serenity along with ease will be experienced when this card, card is drawn. In terms of an individual, this card brings to light the presence of a person who exhibits qualities of being a counselor, a creator, or a well-rounded individual who knows everything. He or she can be an artist who brings new media together, an instigator who brings people together, or an inventor who merges ideas to form new exciting avenues. In terms of situations, any arguments will be resolved with happy endings. Relationships will blossom under this card as balance and unison will be achieved. This card may also advise seeking out a third party to bring closure to any resolutions, such as a mediator, a counselor, or even a diplomat. Okay, the Empress is next. The Empress? La Empress? How would you say that in Spanish? Uh, La Reina, that's how you, wait, that's the queen though, right? Or the one who reigns, something like that. Okay, uh, she is mother of all things. She nurtures all within her grasp, her generous, oh, uh, with her generous giving nature and her overabundance of joy. She brims full of life and life revolves around her. This card represents the strong creative force, force within oneself to bring life forth. This energy gives us fuel to grow and expand any current projects or ventures. Artistically, the energy will guide you to produce endless images and ideas. Career-wise, creatively, oh, career-wise, creatively engaging projects will move along with ease. In the home environment, you will explore decorative tasks and gardening with delight. In an individual, this card represents a strong maternal, maternal character who often provides for you and urges you along these creative paths. This person gives you gives unconditionally for your growth and nurtures your needs to the best of their abilities. And this could be a male or a female. In situations, this card heralds a positive creative growth. 
you may be surrounded by creature comforts and material wealth. In relationships, love and fertility can be found in abundance and sometimes can also be embodied in pregnancy. So somebody might be having a baby on the way. Okay. Ten of Wands. Okay, so this last card is kind of suggesting to me that this was... I don't know. We're going to see once I get to her. We want to see. 1029. He bears the burden. Oh, this is the Empress. Tempress. And Ten of Wands. He bears the burden of Ten of Wands ambitiously. He exerts immense control over them from power within. The Ten of Wands highlights the level of power and energy that has been reached to burden difficult tasks. Here you may feel that you are carrying a heavy weight on your shoulders, but will you be able to manage it? Multitasking, micro and macro managing, and helping out different departments will all be commonplace in your daily activities. This card warns of a period where there will be plenty of work and situations where, you'll be, where you will be stretched. Managing relationships in both personal and public realms will seem like a juggling task as well. Be not afraid, for you will be able to draw from the strength and knowledge within to deal with it all. Four of Cups. She grasps the situation and the opportunities presented. The reverse of this card reflects the spirit of finding one's calling out of the darkness of complacency. Here, the emotional need to succeed will drive you to achieve more than you already have. Your eagerness and tenacity to do will be the reward will be rewarding enough to lift your spirits up. In situations around you, there will be a can-do and will do and willing to do atmosphere. People all around you will cheer you on and encourage you to strive for more for your own sake. In relationships, you will be dragged along on a roller coaster ride of excitement and fun, all to aid in part of being more than all to aid being a part of more than the conventional. So we're getting out of the normal, the normalcy. No normalcy. Okay. Um, what else was I about to say? I was gonna say something pertaining to these cards. Oh, okay, so yeah, uh clearly, you know, you just got a lot of good things going on in your life. You've been battling and you've been winning, and it seems like you haven't even been really having to fight that hard. Uh yeah, like sometimes we may think that we go in like super hard and it's like, no, you ain't seen hard yet. But yeah, so, um, well, so that was the saddest, I mean, Leo reading. And that's for if you have Leo in your chart, um, anywhere. So if you have it in your sun sign, 13, 13, if you have it in your sun sign, if you have it in your moon sign or in your rising sign, um, then yeah, I think. I have Leo in my Mars. Yeah. So that's aggressive. So even if you have it in any of your houses, you know, you, it could be information for that 1331. So have a great day. Good morning.